sends the Northeast. Oh my God. Overnight, flash flooding and torrential rain from another system battering the region. New York City streets underwater. Drivers stranded on a flooded expressway rescued by a police barrier truck. In Philadelphia, heavy rain and winds causing fiery downed power lines. In New Jersey, dangerous storms pounding down on neighborhoods. Re Inches of water and drivers became stranded. In Bucks County, rescue crews worked quickly to bring people to safety. In Philadelphia... Breaking news, I'm Willie Geist on a Thursday morning. These are pictures new to us from East Rutherford, New Jersey. Flash flooding across the Northeast. There has been destruction, there has been death as the remnants of Hurricane Ida are hitting the north. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio and New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy both declaring states of emergency, calling on residents to remain inside, not to travel. Fire and rescue crews across the region responded to a number of water rescues and evacuations because of the high water levels. There have been at least five weather-related fatalities so far recorded, four in New York City, one in Passaic, New Jersey. The National Weather Service issued a flash flood emergency in New York City for the first time ever last night. More than three inches of rain was recorded in Central Park within an hour, shattering a record set just last week. West Open in Flushing, Queens. Two matches were moved as the rain and winds were just too much for the court at Louis Armstrong Stadium. And look at this photo of Yankee Stadium taken by broadcaster Michael Kay, the entire outfield underwater. A number of funnel clouds and tornadoes also were reported across the Northeast. Earlier in the day, the storm swept through Maryland. Touching down in and around Annapolis, Maryland, tornadoes on the ground for many miles after spinning off from Hurricane Ida that slammed Louise. Sure, you, 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 in your uh, lowest level of your house. In downtown Annapolis, power lines and signs ripped down in front of businesses. In nearby neighborhoods, roofs torn off and trees uprooted. Meanwhile, in Frederick, Maryland, flash flooding caught a bus driver off guard. 11 school kids rescued as the bus was submerged. Throughout the day, Ida unleashing blinding lightning and torrential rain on the nation's capital. The D.C. metro area under flood warnings and a tornado watch well into the evening. Three inches of flash rain swamped the region, tearing down trees, flooding intersections, and trapping drivers in their cars. In Rockville, Maryland, hundreds were forced to flee their Police say a 19-year-old man drowned in his apartment, unable to get out. Firefighters used boats to pull people to safety. In all, 150 people displaced. One resident still missing. It continues to unleash tornadoes, dumping record amounts of rain as it marches up the eastern sea. Hello. Uh, I used to take the subway line in to do this show every morning at 2, 3 in the morning. I never saw anything like this at all. This is the road that the New York City Marathon runs down uh, each November. Uh, it's, a, it's a low spot and uh, that water, you know, the R, the R subway line is right underneath that and that must have been completely f flooded. And it Look at these pictures. Tornadoes tore homes to pieces. Flood emergency in New York City, which got more than three inches of rain in a tornadoes tore homes to pieces in New Jersey. And as rising rivers inundated entire neighborhoods, hundreds of calls for rescues went out. A night of disaster led to a day of historic floods. Tonight, entire neighborhoods across several states are underwater. Water rescues continued all day today from Bridgeport, Pennsylvania to Westchester, New York, where first responders used a bulldozer to reach the stranded. The New York Yankees minor league stadium in central New Jersey was submerged. Part of a railroad washed out in Cromwell, Connecticut. Brenda Vasquez and her New Jersey family were evacuated. Forty people are dead, among them a veteran state trooper in Connecticut and a two-year-old, and more are still missing. We're in their cars, come to a, the ravages of a brutal storm. In Pennsylvania, roads along the Schuylkill River near Philadelphia are still under deep water. Inland, the remnants of Ida toppled trees and power lines and left behind major damage north and west of the city. By the time the storm reached New York City around nightfall, many were caught off guard. Sixkill, New Jersey, a sinkhole opened by rushing floodwaters swallowed a car. Crisis, crisis are here. This is one of the great challenges of our time. Thousands flooded out as the remnants of Hurricane of Emergency and homes destroyed as tornadoes whip through across the region as we try to clean up and recover from this historic storm.
storms. Yesterday was the wettest day in history for Newark and Central Park, both seeing their rainiest hours ever. Sadly, at least 37 people have been confirmed dead, 23 of them in New Jersey, 13 victims in New York City, and one victim in Harrison, New York. An incredible sight, truly. Look at this. In Englewood, New Jersey, the cars washed away by floodwaters. They ended up stacked on top of each other. Also in Englewood, this supermarket. Wow, look at this video. So flooded, the groceries just floated right out the door, and workers, of course, had to later throw out all of the food that was destroyed. A state trooper has died after his cruiser was swept away in Woodbury, Connecticut. This happened along the Pomparog River, which is prone to flooding. Bill, New Jersey, look at this. Houses on fire and surrounded by water. Fire crews were unable to douse the flames because of all that. They are again having to navigate flooded streets, uh, which they've been doing daily all day throughout the day today and all night here in the borough people have been coming by helplessly looking across the water at the town they once lived in or have loved ones in uh take a listen to what their husband their two children and their dog spent the night on the second floor of their home here in cranford their lifeboat came in the form of a zodiac rigid inflatable manned by members of the cranford police department who are also certified swift water rescue technicians a few teams have affected some 300 rescues by midday bringing people and pets to dry land many of them through deep rushing water Jersey. We almost drowned. First COVID, now this WTF. I swear I saw a crocodile. New Jersey.